everyone, this is Eli from the Toss the Mic Sportscast, and today I will be talking about Delvin Cook's release from the Minnesota Vikings and his potential landing spots. Now, this was a great move in my opinion by the Vikings. While Delvin Cook has been a great running back for them, they saved some money by cutting Delvin Cook. They saved $9 million cap hit but they do incur a $5 million penalty in dead cap by cutting him. Now, Alexander Madison being re-signed to a two-year, $7 million deal is really what makes this release make sense for me. Alexander Madison has been very good when he's filled in for Delvin Cook, so Vikings fans shouldn't be too sad about this move because they have a bright future in Alexander Madison. Now, Delvin Cook enters free agency alongside Leonard Fournette and Ezekiel Elliott. So teams wanting to pursue a veteran free agent running back still have other options besides Cook. But in my opinion, at this stage in, in their careers, Delvin Cook is probably going to be the most productive out of all three. And one potential landing spot for Delvin Cook would definitely be the Miami Dolphins, as they did inquire uh, to trade for him with the Vikings, but that didn't come to fruition, obviously. The Miami Dolphins room right now would be Jeff Wilson, Raheem Mostert, who are both getting up there in age and wouldn't really be up to that le- the same level as a Delvin Cook. And Devon A-Chain, who they drafted this year, uh, but to me, A-Chain doesn't seem like a bell cow three-down guy. I mean, look at his size there. He's v- very small back. But I do like him, so it would be nice for them to bring in Cook uh, alongside A-Chain. Another landing spot would be the Broncos, and this one makes sense. Now, they did sign Samaj P. Ryan, who many of us probably learned about last year when he filled in for Joe Mixon's absence. And I believe he had a three-touchdown game. Uh, He played very well with the Bengals. And I think the Broncos are eye on him as well, but it would still make sense to bring in a veteran like Cook as Javante Williams, the starter in Denver, will be missing some time with his injury. I believe it's a ACL. Another spot I'd like to mention would be the New York Jets as Brees Hall is coming back from an injury and he might not be up to 100%. So signing a veteran like Cook might be smart in this situation for the New York Jets as he could take some pressure off of Brees Hall and just until he gets to 100%. And just to add on to what you said earlier, for the Jets, I don't get it. Why should Dalvin Cook go to the Jets when they have a perfectly good running back in Brees Hall, someone who is bound to break out, most experts say he's going to, And then who I think he should go to is the Buffalo Bills. It just makes sense. The Cook brothers in a backfield, one is old, one is young. One can teach the other plenty about playing in this league, and the other can benefit in a situation that just needs a running back, to be honest. James Cook isn't proven at all. He didn't show really any potential last year, but other than being a receiving back. And Dalvin Cook obviously has the experience. So it'd be great to see the Cook brothers in the backfield together. And also ironic a spot for Dalvin Cook to go the Cincinnati Bengals with Joe Mixon being involved in some in spotty situations maybe Dalvin Cook could come in and take over while he may be suspended for a little bit and then a low-key destination would be maybe the Chargers the Cowboys or even the Rams situations where they're top heavy at running back and there's nothing under them Thank you for listening to this small mini episode of Toss the Mic Sportscast. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you for like, commenting, and subscribing. And also follow us anywhere you get your podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, etc. Thanks for listening, and we'll catch you next time.